All right, guys, welcome back. I'm in a Freightliner Cascadia 2019. We've been seeing uh, quite a few issues with some of these new trucks, especially when it comes to the dome lights in the back. We'll notice that, that when you go to the switches, one, it doesn't light up, and two, when you hit the buttons, the dome lights don't come on. So we've seen this issue so far in our shop several times. I wanted to share this with you guys so you guys know what to do, because you guys can do it yourselves by saving some money. And that's my goal, for you guys to save some money. Some of the symptoms that you'll see, this panel right here with all the switches where you see dome light, you know, sleeper light, as well as the amber light, and then the one that says sleeper speaker, where you hit it and turn off the speakers. It won't illuminate. And then the next thing is when you push the buttons, none of the lights will work. So that being said, the first thing you need to do is go over to the front of your dash. It's called a MSF switch, and it'll have a hazard in the middle, right, of the whole bank. And what you're gonna do is replace it. So one, it's cheap because the price ranges anywhere between 65 to 80 bucks. And you guys can do it yourself by saving a whole bunch of money by not going to the shop and them charging you anywhere between 160 to 250 an hour. You guys can do it yourself and it's fun. So what we're gonna do is all you need is one, a knife or a flathead screwdriver. We're gonna move over to the center part of the dash in the driver's seat. I'm gonna show you guys how to pull it out and how to remove the buttons and install it. I have tried to order a few of them. Some of them, it has been on national back order, so be prepared. It's not something to freak out about. It's just dome lights, but the lights should still work from the front. In the meantime, you can always order it, have it ready at the house when it does come available. And then you guys can do it yourself. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to do that. So let's jump to the front seat, guys. All right, guys, so I'm in the driver's seat, and then right here is your MSF switch. As you see, there's a hazard right in the middle. Now, you can use a flathead. I'm using a switchblade because I carry it with me at all times. So on each corner, there's a little tab. All you're gonna do is pick it out just a little. And again, flathead or knife. Don't go crazy and digging in the dash. All you gotta do is pull out the tabs. So right when you get that tab, stop. Don't start pulling. Believe it or not, there's one in the middle, which is your hazard. Once you get that out, let's see. There you go. So now that we have all three pieces, this bad boy should slide out like so. Easy. All right, now there's three wires on the back. You guys can just pull them off, all right? And then when you get the new one, it doesn't have the switches in them, all right? You would have to take the old switches out. And it's very easy. If you look here, there's a tab here and a tab on the bottom. Take your two fingers, squeeze, and the switch comes out that easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy all day, guys. And then you just slide it into the new one until it clicks, just like so. Once you have removed all the switches, all right, if anything, take a picture so you know the orientation. It's very easy. Once you have everything plugged back in, and again, just make sure, I mean, there's three wires, two over here, one over there. You're gonna slide it back in its slot, and you're gonna push the tabs with your finger, one inside, one in the middle, and you're done. And then all you have to do is, right when you start up the truck, you'll notice the difference that the back will start illuminating. Once it illuminates, the switches should start working again. And then you fixed your dome lights. And you did it yourself by saving some money. And again, this is the most common issue that we have seen here in the shop. And we've checked wires, we've checked quite a few things. We've done four trucks with the 2019 to the 2022. So, that's been the issue lately, and about 90% of the time, that's what we fix. There's occasional, could it be a broken wire, but this is what we've replaced, and it resolved the problem. So just keep that in mind, guys. You can do this yourself. It's a cheap repair. You can do it yourself. So that's the whole point. I want to send this stuff to you guys to save some money. If you guys like what you saw today, don't forget to pound that like button. If you have any questions or anything that you saw today, don't forget to subscribe. See you guys at the next video.